Well, you've read the title and here we are. Don't let tarot cards ruin your life. In fact, don't let anything, tarot cards, crystal balls, don't let this ruin your life like it has for so many people. There's so much power in this, folks. It doesn't matter what your experience with these things are. Hang with me for the next few minutes. I'm going to unpack something for you that is going to show you the purpose and the place for these things and how you can move forward no matter what and actually get what you want to get. You can get all the answers you need. You can get all the money, the wealth, the relationships, the success. You can have it all. You've got to know a few things. Today, we're going to lift the lid. We're starting right now. So come on, let's jump straight on into it. Hello folks, welcome to Elevate for a New Day. My name is Ben. It's such a blessing and a privilege to spend this time with you. So thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you've found the channel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you go and click the button. There are some great topics of conversation coming up. You know I'm here every day of the week, folks. I never miss a day. You can check out the link below too for my coaching and mentoring group. But today I want to share just a couple of thoughts with you surrounding, surrounding tarot cards and how they can ruin your life, how they can ruin your manifestation, how they've ruined so many things for so many people. Now listen, let's start all this with an understanding that everything is permissible. Even the scripture says that. Paul wrote, everything is permissible for me, but not everything is profitable. So no matter what your position is on tarot cards, whether you've used them, whether you love them, whether you're guided by them, whether you hate them, whether you're in fear of them, whether you don't even have any thoughts about them, it doesn't matter what your thoughts and experiences are. This applies to everything moving forward. This applies to you reaching your goals and your dreams. Let me unpack it. Let me explain to you why this matters so much. You see, when people use things like tarot cards, what they're really doing is inquiring about things. Inquiring about their future. Sometimes inquiring about their past, looking for some sort of wisdom, some sort of guidance. The problem is, is that we look to these things with absolute certainty so many times and we immediately believe what comes, but the only thing that we should be believing with immediate effect in our life is what comes through our higher self. We've got to learn to move past using these tools, these things like tarot cards that you see people using all the time. We've got to learn to move past them and step into the confidence we have to have to become the powerful creators we were always intentioned to be. See, no matter what a tarot card might say, no matter what a medium might say, no matter who comes through and what is connected with, one thing remains true. There are no guarantees. There are no guarantees. This is why you should only rely on your own intuition. This is why it's so important to develop a relationship, a personal, personable, relationship with your higher self, with the universe and the angels and your spirit guides. Yes, they can use these tools to speak into your life, to give you some answers, to help you uncover something. Maybe something's blocked the flow. But so many people, they live their lives by these things. The problem with that is that while everything is permissible, not everything is profitable. You see, you can live in the fullness of whatever you want to manifest. You can live in the reality of your dreams. But you've got to learn to stand on your own two feet. You've got to learn to hear the voice of God for yourself. You've got to learn to look around you and see the signs of the universe. And you've got to learn to move forward into your destiny without question. Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through that hurt and heartbreak? Why was there this difficulty in my life? What about this sickness? Why did I lose that person? Is it going to work out moving forward? Folks, the biggest problem with all of this stuff is we let these things tell the story of our life. So what you are effectively doing, now don't miss this, this is powerful. Have a think about this. What you are doing when you interact with these things very often is you are allowing them to tell the story of your life, to give you answers about things that have happened in the past, 
to give you an insight into what might be in your future. But it is not these things that create your future. It is not these things that heal your past. Your past is the training ground for where you are today. Today is the training ground for where you are going. And where you are going is not up to anyone except you. Where you are going, what you will manifest, the life you will live, is up to no one, no thing, except you. You are the creator. You hold the keys to the kingdom. You are in control of this thing. So what you say you will experience, you will experience. Not what somebody else says that you will experience. What you say you will experience is what you will experience if you move into alignment with that end result. You see, everything you've been through. Now, so often when people go into tarot cards and things like this, now understand me again, folks, let's just be super clear. I'm not canning tarot cards. I'm not saying stay away from... I'm just saying have your mind and your eyes very clearly open and recognize what you are doing when you interact with these things. People look for answers. How come my little brother had to go through that? How come I had to lose this loved one? How come this person had to do this and say that? How come I had to go through this? Why is there always lack? People look for these answers, yeah? They look for these answers. The problem is, if the answer is not as a revelation to you, from you, from within you, it holds no value. You see, everything you've been through, every cycle of dysfunction, every broken heart, every moment of lack, it's the training ground. It has set you up for what you are going through today. What you are going through today requires the sum total of the learnings of what you have been through. And as you navigate your way through today, what you step into tomorrow requires the fullness of everything you have been through today. You can't make sense of these things sometimes, and that's okay, but you have to keep moving forward. When you look to external validation, when you look to things outside of yourself, you literally give away your power, not just to figure it out, but to create moving forward. See, it's up to no one except you what your tomorrow looks like. It's up to no one except you to dream the dream that you want to manifest. It's up to no one except you to connect with that dream and to move forward into the direction of that dream. And in so doing, you will make sense of the things that happened to you in the past. One day, the dots will start to connect. You will start to see the pieces of the puzzle fit. But when you look for things prematurely, when you go outside of yourself, you give that power away. And that is the power of creation within you. That is how you manifest your dreams. Folks, not everything makes sense right now. But one day it will. So keep moving forward. Keep going after your dreams. Keep asking questions of the universe and listening for the answers. Keep looking for the signs all around about you that point you in the direction you need to move. Keep being introspective. Keep looking for those cycles of dysfunction in your life and learn your lessons well, but understand that ultimately the responsibility rests with you, both in learning from the past and then applying those learnings to move forward into your future. If you can do this, you will see that you are a powerful creator. It's not up to anyone else. It's not up to anything else. You can use things as guides, if you need help, if you need support, you can look to these things. It's all fine. It all has value. Everything is permissible, but not everything is profitable. So if you feel like you're ready to take a step and start moving forward in your power as the creator that you are, then do it. Do it unashamedly. Do it with excitement and get ready for what you will see, folks. Now, I hope that this has blessed you. Understand my heart here. If these things are in your life, they're helpful to you, they give you peace, go for it. Don't stop it. Just be aware of what is happening in the energy around about you. Just be aware that you are the creator. I love you so much. Go and have a look at these two videos, folks. They're going to help make sense of even more things. Come and see me tomorrow. Subscribe. Reach out anytime. I love you so much.